Monday. What's up, everybody? Monday morning, welcome to today's edition of The Daily Market Commentary. I'm your host, Chuck Folks, and everybody had a phenomenal weekend as we're about to do what we do each and every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, taking a look at our four major markets and our stock of the day. If you're new to the channel, do me a favor, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get the alerts and the updates and all that fun jazz. Um, and uh, we will go ahead and get rolling with our market looks for the day. Real quick announcement, go to tradersarmy.com. We have Black Friday deals. I know a lot of you have been asking about the different classes that we have available as well as our, um, as well as our subscriptions. Uh, you can go to tradersarmy.com slash Black Friday deals. 60% off everything we have between now and November 30th. Uh, and so uh, take a look. We also are excited to announce our first crypto, tactical crypto trader. Uh, that class is going to be uh, taught by Herman Casas. It's going to be an exciting class, so looking forward to seeing anybody who's interested in that one. Use promo code BLACKFRIDAY21 uh, to activate your membership. If you want to uh, become a pro member, you can be a, become a pro member for first three months for only $59 a month. So um, hopefully we can help you to get where you want to go at $59 a month. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with our, uh, with our structure. All right, so the ES up 12 points this morning uh, as we are... As we are rising up, we've rallied up into our supply level. Now, this level is the, the level that we had been looking at for a potential reversal point. Um, price hit that area and has now started to come back down. Now, our four-hour on the ES is you know, losing a lot of steam and, and going fairly sideways, a little bit of a rising wedge pattern. And so I wouldn't be surprised to see this thing not continue to trade a bit higher, knowing that it's a holiday week. We, we may not trade all that much higher. We did get a little move off of that one-hour um, resistance point. But as far as demand below me, I don't have any really high-quality areas of demand below me to lean on. If I go to a 15-minute chart, this area here, which was right around the open last night, is pretty good um, if you want to give that one a shot. That may be worth a little day trade opportunity. It's a very, very small level, though. So just keep that in mind as well. Um, looking at the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ, we have a breakout trade set up above 16,631. As we did put in a new all-time high last night. Um, strike up the music. The all-time high has begun. Woo! Um, but, uh, but the idea being is that if you take the breakout trade, you are still running a little bit. We talked about the fact last night that if you wanted to give this a shot, then you had a decent opening, but it's not really moving a whole lot. So we'll see if we get a pop at the market open. Um, I would be pretty cautious of this. If, we're, if we haven't gotten a pop before the market open, I'd be pretty cautious of it. Just take your stop, um, move it up to underneath here um, just to make sure that you're, that you're not you know, putting yourself out there with too much exposure. I'm a little bit you know, concerned that we're not getting a stronger run out of this. For price to continue to move. Now, if you look at the Russell and the Dow, both of those have been down the last couple of days. And so with the weakness in the Russell as well as the Dow, then, you know, I think that there's a chance we're going to see a rollover effect in the NASDAQ and the S&P because the Russell and the Dow both are showing a lot more weakness uh, than, than those two markets. Looking at crude oil, as our uh, energy markets come into play, uh, looking at our, our energy markets coming into focus, I think the four-hour level here shows that there's a spot for a potential breakdown below 75 uh, if we get quality basing. We have to get quality basing for, for a good breakdown out of that level. We, uh, on a 15-minute time period, don't have anything here to, to really lean on from a quality supply area standpoint. So I think the breakdown below 75 is probably the better way to go. Um, and then when it comes to gold, I told you the other day that gold is not something that I'm going to continue to look at every day. Um, I feel like gold has been violating levels unnecessarily, and so it might be time to just let this thing sit on the sidelines and cool a little bit. For those of you that are still trading it, there is a good 15-minute level up here at 1857.6 by 1859.7. Uh, nice little drop, base drop. However, I don't know that we're going to make it back up into that region. And on the hourly level, there is one that is a bit lower over here to the left. It's the origin of this very strong move up, although this strong move up was a news-based move. Um, 
so I don't love either of those. But the Euro, which is what we were looking at a, a bit last week, I do think that you could have a potential breakdown here in the Euro but below this 1.12 um, as we are just kind of hovering above that region. There is a pretty good supply level up here, but that's fairly far away from current price. So look for a, a basing and a breakdown at 1.126 in the Euro for price to continue to move down. When we look at this on a, on a daily chart, there is plenty of room for price to continue to fall. If I look to the left, we've got a lot of supply over here, or excuse me, a lot of demand over here, but this demand is not, none of this demand is clean or fresh or anything that I want to lean on. It's all a little bit on the wonky side, if I would say. Um, so those are, uh, those are the levels. I think, it, I think you're better off staying on the short side on the euro. Those are the levels for today. Let's talk about our stock of the day. I've actually got two stocks of the day, depending on your overall bearish or bullish bias. So let's say that you want to stay bullish. You think the markets are going to continue to rally higher and you want a bullish stock. We're going to go to Signature Bank, uh, uh, SignatureBank.com, SBNY. If you look at the daily chart of this thing, we see that we are in a strong move up. I do like the fact that we've consolidated, gone sideways here a bit, and we just recently got a breakout. Now, that breakout, if I throw an indicator on here real quick, I'm going to throw volume on there. And the reason I'm throwing volume on there is because not only did we get a breakout, but we got a breakout that was also accompanied by a huge increase in volume. Now, that huge increase in volume did not come on the heels of an earnings report, right? Usually you get that kind of volume surge on an earnings report. That was not the case this time around. And so the big increase in volume combined with the breakout above this region, I think that, uh, that this could make for a pretty good setup. Now, looking at this on a longer term scale, oops, where's our all time high? Right. Well, with, let's go back and let's do a 20 year chart. And that, look at this. We are at the all time high. So stocks that are at all time highs are typically going to be, you know, how far can it go? You might say, well, that's overextended. Yeah, it might be. Um, but I don't want to fight a strong ongoing pre-existing trend. Um, if you've not learned that so far, it's time to learn that. Right. Don't fight the pre-existing trend as that's been a very strong mover thus far. Uh, in this case, your stop can go pretty tight. I think below uh, 313 is a very, very good stop because that's your most recent pivot. The other one, if you want to go the other direction, if you're saying, well, I feel like the markets are a little bit overcooked and I want to go a bit bearish, look at Biogen. Um, Biogen is sitting right at a potential breakdown level. We broke below there. Now, the downside of this one, unlike the others, is that I didn't get any sort of a volume spike. Um, I, uh, I'm actually slightly below volume. I got a volume spike on the uh, the initial breakdown, um, but I'm below vo average volume the last two days. So let's see what happens over the next few. Um, if you wanted to give this one a shot, I think this has room to continue to move a bit lower. So that's all I have for today. I hope you guys have a phenomenal, phenomenal trading day. As always, go to tradersarmy.com to learn a bit more, um, and I will talk to you soon. Hope you have a great day. See ya. Hey, thanks for joining us. If you like what we do, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's the only way the computers know that you're actually alive and really care. And go to tradersarmy.com today to learn a bit more. And if you want to see some of our other videos, click here in the box.